Hello, hello out there in base world. It's Jeff from jeffrey-thomas.com, and I'm going to go ahead and walk through my base tab for Come and Get Your Love by Redbone. Classic killer tune, and um, a couple interesting things I found out about it when I did my homework. So here we go with the intro. Ready, go. Okay, so there's the first two measures, and this is where he's playing the line. It's all on the third string. And if you need proof of that, go to the Midnight Special Performance of Redbone, where the camera guy is right on the bass player, and it shows clearly that he's here in second position, right? Just because everybody plays it up here at fifth position, I went ahead and wrote that for the second two measures. So that would be. Right? So there it is, you have it both ways. If I was going to play it, I would pick the first two measures and write it out, because that's where he's playing it. Um, it keeps it very consistent by having it on the same string, even though it may be a little stretch for some people to get from the fifth fret to the second fret with the pinky and the first finger, but that's the way it goes. Um, Make sure you're taking it easy on that left hand, taking break, shaking it off, right? If, if you're new to that far of a stretch, you want to go easy on that. Also notice that it's alternating with uh, I and M for this tune, right? So let's jump into the verse. We've got nice and slow. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one, two and three, four and Okay, eight times on that. So those two measures are going to run eight times, counting one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four and. Okay, now the chorus. A lot of people confused about this chorus. Just, I really did not find anybody who had the right stuff for it on, on YouTube. So we've got a, a syncopated line. There's It's sixteenths. I'm going to go through it super slow. Ready, go. Again. So I'm going to count it now. We're going to go easy on this. The whole first measure of the chorus is a consistent rhythmic value. It's a 16th note to an 8th to a 16th note. And that's counted and played like this. 1 E, a 2 E, a 3 E, sorry, 3 E, a 4 E, a. And it's really cool how he changes directions on this. So he's coming up. And then on this third beat, he goes, he goes from the A back to the A flat or G sharp, however you want to think of it. But it's really interesting how he changes directions back, right? And then the last measure of the chorus: one E and a two E and a three E and a four and. So counting the whole chorus, nice and slow. Ready, go. One E. A two E, a three E, three E, a four E, a one E, and a three E, four and one E, a two E, a three E, a four, four, four E, a one E, two E, and a three E, and a four and. Um, definitely hard to count and play. It's a good thing I'm not chewing gum. Just kidding. Um, but once you get that rhythm, da 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 da
in the song is great because it's like you can see his right hand he's just hammering this with alternating guy's got great technique um so the chorus goes four times and then there's a close out lick and then it's basically repeating the whole content so let me get that last measure for you so it's like just a walk up one e uh one e uh two e uh three e uh four e uh and then back into the verse, I believe. Um, so anyway, killer tune, great rhythms. And like I said, I did a little bit of homework on this to get to the bottom of what's actually being played, comparing the Midnight Special version, live version, to the original recording. And pretty much everything matched up. I mean, he, this is great bass playing. So on the subject of great bass playing, up in the top uh, chord diagrams, I have your D major pentatonics mapped out for you. So I'll go ahead and run through, the, through those because that's sort of where the key is. It's in D major. And uh, knowing the pentatonics is very important. So our first set of pentatonics is here at the second fret. And our fingerings are going to be one, four, one, four, one, three, And I have a great um, scale practice routine for bass that you may want to look up, which is going to show a lot of uh, details about how to practice scales. Um, and these D major pentatonic patterns would be perfect for it. So anyway, moving on to the next pattern, we're up at the fifth fret. Our fingerings are going to be two, four, two, four, one, four, one, four. to the seventh fret now, B minor pentatonic, ready, go, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, then turn around and come back down. Okay, tenth fret for D major pentatonic, ready, go, two, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, and then come back down. Okay, last pattern up at the 12th fret. One, three, one, three, one, three, one, four. Come back down. Sorry. All right, so that will get you started on your uh, pentatonics, which you know, if you were like, if somebody gave you the nod to take a solo on this, uh, you could probably run your pentatonics and, and be totally in the pocket. Um, and I like to include the pentatonics on two tunes because that gives the student a good framework of like, you know, where notes are coming from and so on and so forth. But um, anyway, so D major pentatonics for the song and then the song itself with. Uh, all the parts. I did not write the complete structure of the song out because it's basically intro, verse, and chorus. And then uh, you can call it a day. And hopefully that was helpful and maybe got you playing, playing the tune properly. And I will talk to you later.